I discovered that I had pelvic organ prolapse after doing extensive research on my own. On Instagram, I found advocates for not settling with peeing when you're sneezing or running or playing with your kids. And I came to my OB with the symptoms that I was having, heaviness and leaking urine and basically asked for a solution or validation that there was something I could do to fix that. Eventually was told to stop working out um, and if I wanted to I could swim. But no running, no walking, and that working out wasn't something that was necessary in my life because I wasn't a professional athlete. I decided to take the leap and go into pelvic floor physical therapy and met Brooke. And the first time I met her was amazing. I felt like I finally had someone who understood what I was going through and gave me hope that I didn't have to stop exercising, that I could lead a physical life. I could get back to a point where I felt comfortable and strong enough to do that. So when I came here, I was a little nervous, but when I spoke to the physical therapist, I felt hope for the first time in like five years. Amy was just like many of the women we see in that she had seen other providers, she had been looking at different resources online and doing her own research, trying to find other avenues and ways to get back to doing what she loved. That's when she came to us. So we assessed her at her starting point, found out what her specific goals and her specific needs were to help her get back to doing the things that she loved. We developed an individualized program for her and got her on her way so that she can be confident going forward and knowing exactly what she needs to do to keep her body moving optimally and keep her doing what she loves.